Hi everyone, today I wanted to show you a quick, easy installation of our Seals on heating mat. Um, typically, a heating mat is placed on a kitchen island or a basement bar, anywhere that you're looking to feel warmth on your stone. For this example, to make it simplified, we're actually just showing you how to apply it to this 12 by 12 inch stone slab here. Um, this is actually pretty common with a dealer of ours or someone who's interested in selling it to somebody else. It's a really great demo. Um, so if you are interested, we do have these really great 11 by 11 inch heating mats. So this is the field where mat. Very, very thin. And this applies nicely to a standard stone slab. Um, so for demo purposes, um, I had already applied the surface prep kit on the back side. So if you have quartz, for our rough granite, um, we always recommend using our surface prep kit. It's included with all of our seals arm heating mats. It kind of, here, here's, a, here's what it looks like. It's a two-part epoxy. You just brush it together, um, and then you brush it right onto the stone, and you let it dry. So for time, I just applied it already. I let it dry, and then we're ready to actually adhere the heating mat. So I take the seal arm heating mat here. It's a peel and stick. So all you do is take the relief liner off, as you can see right here. Um, the heating mat element is all within the body of the heating mat itself. And all we're simply doing is sticking it right on. So it's a very much like a sticker, essentially. And so I'm going to center it nicely. Um, for those of you who are applying it to an actual kitchen island or a bar, um, we want to make sure that you are putting it as close to the front edge as possible. A uh, question we get a lot is, how far does the heat actually radiate within stone? And we just want to make sure that you are applying it as close to the edge as possible because heat doesn't radiate very far at all. So we want you to have the warmth exactly where you are actually sitting at. Um, so I'm pressing it firmly down here um, onto this stone slab. Let me show you a little bit. It's quite simple. This is how thin it actually is on the stone. And as you can see, of course, we have a cord um, that comes off the heating mat. Um, this just plugs into a low voltage transformer. So I have a low voltage transformer here. Um, every heating mat is different. It plugs into a different low voltage transformer. So yours may look a little different. Sometimes it's a big brick. Um, this one is very small. Um, and so you simply plug it in here like such. And then you plug it into a standard outlet. Of course, it will look a lot different on your kitchen island. Usually the outlet is within the cabinetry. So you can easily just plug it in and um, it can operate and everything is hidden inside the cabinetry. So it'll take about an hour and a half for this to warm up. That's the good thing. We want it to be kind of a passive heating system so that it warms up the stone very slowly. Um, but then once it gets to about an hour and a half or two hours, you're going to feel that nice 20 degree difference above room temperature and that will be when it will feel nice and warm for you. So if you have any questions, absolutely um, reach out to us, www.sealsarm.com. Um, if you are a fabricator, designer, architect, someone that's interested in actually selling the product, we'd be happy to talk with you as well about this, potentially getting a demo like, like this one I just showed you or something else. Um, and if you're a homeowner and you want to get that cold chill off of your counter, we are the best to help you with that. So give us a call. Thanks so much.